Season of Discovery has been a huge success for Blizzard. As we can see in this tweet right here, Season of Discovery currently has 374,495 logged characters, more than Classic Era and Wrath Classic combined. Me, personally, I've been loving this version of Warcraft. I've been playing this game for about 18 years, and this has to be some of the most fun I've ever had playing WoW. Playing a Paladin especially has been super, super fun. From discovering runes before Wowhead did, doing the Divine Storm rune, doing Black Within Deeps for the first time as a raid, theory crafting and min-maxing Prod Paladin builds, which, by the way, thank y'all so much for the 21,000 views of my Prod Paladin guide. Thank you, thank you so much for that. This has just been a really, really fun start to something that could be even more amazing down the line. And with Blizzard announcing that Phase 2 is little less than a month away, it's time for us to talk about what's next with Paladins. Where do we see Paladins going from here? My name's Jerdy, and join me in a discussion about where Paladins are going in the next phase. What runes could we possibly be getting? What runes do we need? And what are things that the community of Paladins hope to see later down the line? So how, how, how have Paladins been in Phase 1? For me, being a prot red Paladin, I really enjoyed it. Now, Rets overall aren't exactly the top damage on the meters, but having our entire Wrath of the Lich King rotation at level 25 in Classic Era has been pretty cool. The whole two-hand tank meta for Prop Paladins has also been really unique. Being able to have Avenger Shield along with Divine Storm and Crusader Strike has been really, really fun and unique. And still doing decent damage as a tank is also really, really fun. In PvP, we've been doing really well. We melt rogues, we melt clothies, and we fare well against those harder specs like hunters, druids, and priests. However, we are gonna need more abilities down the line in order to keep up with some of these other classes that do more damage than us. Yes, we don't have wings yet, we don't have hammer of wrath yet, but I still don't think that'll be enough to keep us viable as a DPS spec. So what, are, what what's the thing we need? What's an ability that we need the most now in phase two? In the rune, the ability that we need the most I think ASAP is Judgment of Wisdom. Reds and Prots go oom um too fast. And if we get that Judgment of Wisdom, that's going to help us a lot. Do we get Seal of Wisdom later? Yes. Is it going to be fun to put on Seal of Wisdom though and lose damage from not having Martyr or Command? No. It's not fun to sacrifice damage to get your mana back. And I think having a Judgment of Wisdom would be a big solution to that. Judgment of Wisdom would also be good for Holy Paladins because then it would make them more like Wrath the Lich King and Retail Paladins where they want to be this melee ranged Paladin hitting the boss for mana and doing damage to the boss while also having Seal of Wisdom on to keep their mana up. It's also worth noting that maybe having Judgment of Light be a rune as well, but on the same armor slot as Wisdom could be something we could see in the future and maybe having it swapped depending if there's multiple Paladins in the raid or maybe a certain boss calls for Light over Wisdom. Just more options for our toolkit would be fun for Holy. Before we go into more theory crafting and speculation and wants and wishes of what runes we want to see next, I want to first talk about runes we might be getting soon if we get waste slot runes. In the official World of Warcraft YouTube video, What's New in WoW Classic Season of Discovery, they showed us a waste slot rune option for Paladins and it had three runes on there. Ardent Defender, Howling Blast, and something called Augmented Seals which we've never heard of before. Now we know Ardent Defender comes from Wrath of the Lich King. It's our cheat death ability. Howling Blast is a death knight ability and Augmented Seals will be something completely new for Season of Discovery. I definitely think Ardent Defender is something we are going to get down the line. And I'm interested to see what Augmented Seals can be. So let's talk about Howling Blast though real quick because I don't think this is necessarily a meme. I really think this might be a rune we actually get. And if we do get Howling Blast with a tree named something like Holy Blast, then this cancels out my entire theory. But I think we might see in the future a Dark Knight or a Shadow Paladin build or something similar to that, like a Path of Arthas build. And the only reason I say that is the chain you have to do to get Seal of Martyrdom kind of hints at that. If you did that chain and read the text, we had to save or find the NPC at a Geldheart, a former paladin turned by the powers of the shadow. In the text right here, you can talk to her after you complete the chain. She says, it's clear that you are a great fighter. However, such strength is wasted by serving the light. There are powers beyond what the brothers in the cathedral can show you. Powers of shadow and the damned. 
I don't think that's just a throwaway line. I do think we might get to see some Shadow Paladin builds, some Death Knight Paladin builds. I think Howling Blast would lead us to that path. I would really hope to use Ada Gelhart again in Season Discovery later on down the line and not just some throwaway NPC we get for one ability in Phase 1. By the way, real quick, don't like roast me or flame me for that theory. I know it's out there, but it'd be really cool if we got that Path of Arthas build and stuff like that. And I'm not the only one who speculated that. I know it's a popular speculation, so don't roast me. Roast everybody else thought about it too. Anyway, whatever. Just watch the rest of the video. All right, y'all, I'm taking off my tinfoil hat. Let's talk about stuff that the community of Paladins have told me what they want later on down the line in Season of Discovery. The main thing that caught my attention was someone saying that they want to see more of a cleric build, like a hybrid build, a battle healer build. Just really encouraging the hybrid spec Paladin that we were intended to be. Holy Paladins that can do damage. Prop Paladins that can be self-sufficient and heal themselves or others. Rep Paladins who can still heal while doing some really nice damage. And I think a big rune that would encourage that would be the Wrath of the Lich King Red Talent, the Art of War. If you're not familiar with this rune, it was a rune that would proc an instant flash of light or an instant exorcism. Now we already have an exorcism rune. Maybe if this rune was introduced, it would give a guaranteed crit with exorcism if you also have the exorcist rune on. This would be something useful for all specs of paladin and give us a meaningful choice in our next ability, like a prop paladin needing to heal himself or gain more threat with a critical exorcism, a ret wanting to do more damage or maybe casting out a flash of light on someone who needs it, or that DPS holy paladin who's dealing damage to the boss to fish instant flash of light procs. This would greatly encourage a hybrid, holy, prot, red build for Paladins in the future. Next, I want to talk about red Paladins, specifically in Phase 2. I know I said we need more buttons, but the more I think of it, do we? Do we really need more buttons? Maybe one or two new abilities for our rotation, but I think something that would make life easier for us without giving us more abilities would maybe be runes that reset our cooldowns on our current abilities. A rune that resets the cooldown of your judgment or our crusader strike. If we get like a critical strike on something else, or maybe another ability can cause this ability to reset its cooldown. That to me feels like more in the spirit of classic without adding extra buttons, but still also increasing the DPS overall from red paladins. Fine Finally, I want to talk about prop paladins specifically and stuff I'm pretty sure we're gonna get and stuff we need to get. Right now, prop paladins are in this weird world of are we Wrath of the Lich King paladins or are we TBC paladins? Do we try and get spell power gear which doesn't exist or do we focus on getting strength? Now right now the obvious answer is getting strength because Blizzard put no spell power gear in the new raid and I'm wondering if that was intentional or not. Me personally, I think it is. The only reason I think that is if we want to encourage spell power gear and us to be good with spell power, then we're not good until we get spell power. And that's just not going to be fun farming that gear and being bad until we get it. And raids aren't going to wait for us to get that gear to bring us in. The obvious answer to solve all this would be to give a rune for the talent touched by the light, again from Wrath of the Lich King, which converts your strength to spell power. Is it a really easy fix? Yes. Is it kind of lazy? Yes. But unless we get a lot of plate spell power gear put into the game next phase and later on, it's just going to be really hard to get that spell power and be a TBC prop paladin, which I know a lot of people want. In regards to future runes for prop paladin specifically, I'd be very shocked if we didn't get Shield of Righteousness and Hammer of the Righteous. It just makes sense for us to get more of these Wrath of the Lich King abilities. And I know I'm being greedy here, I would really love it if all of these runes were on different slots of the runes we currently have now, because then we'd have so many abilities as a prop paladin. It would maybe create this DPS sword and board spec prop paladin, similar to gladiator builds for warriors. I would play the hell out of that spec and build. And the last thing I want to talk about, one thing I'm really hoping to see immediately in phase two is please, please Blizzard, give us some sort of scroll, tome, Librum, something that increases our blessing timers to at least 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not asking for 20, 30 minute buffs, 10 to 15 minutes and I will be a happy camper. I'll be the happiest little dwarf paladin if you can give me that. Please make this happen. What are some things you want to see in Phase 2 of Season Discovery? Maybe later on down the line as well. 
What if that mysterious augmented seals rune is the key for our seal twisting? Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe if you haven't, follow me on twitch.tv slash Thank y'all for stopping by, thanks for saying hi, and I'll see y'all in the next video.